Welcome to the Our Nation Interdale Project, Tuesday 19th of July 2011. We're doing something a bit different today, we're walking around the site, the top of the site, the prehistoric bit of the site. Behind me we've got some of the walkers who are on our guided walk. Uh, they were just in front of the Bronze Age burial mound and just in front of us here there's a small platform that's we don't quite know what is in it, because we've only done a tiny excavation, but it looks like it's connected to the burial site with burial rituals. And we also know that there was a timber platform walkway, three planks sticking out from underneath the, the peat, certainly Bronze Age, pointing straight at this platform. Some kind of walkway to this platform on the north of a burial mound. There is much more to be found out about it, but that's the beginning of our story. And now we'll go up and have a look at the burial mound. All right, we're here on the edge of the burial mound. Uh, we've got the fields behind us, which are very rough. You'll notice there's a wall around here. Now the wall obviously doesn't belong to the burial mound, but it's a very strange shape. It's a playing card shape. And the burial mound is roughly circular, slightly elongated. There is some evidence that maybe the Romans owned the mound for themselves. They surrounded it, not with the wall, but with a ditch that goes around it and a ditch further out was playing card shape. And there's a little bit of paving between the two. Is it possible that they've made this into some shrine or that they've acknowledged that this is a holy place? Hopefully we shall find out in the future. While well, we've been checking out this site, which we haven't been to for a little while, this piece of wood, which I actually recognise from when we were digging it before, uh, it has come out of the side. It is one of the planks that made the trackway. It's been worked slightly curved, curved that side but it's flat nearly flat usefully flat and i'm dripping mud on myself uh, this there were three of them side by side pointing straight to the platform a very good walkway there were uprights holding it up we know that piece of bronze age walkway platform so that's possibly four thousand years old and people were walking across it to their rituals to bury their dead or do whatever they did um, and it's just been sticking out the ground here underneath the peat it's a drain it's a drain that's been chiseled out by iron tools that's identical in size proportions structure but the way it's made to the ones which are up in Vindolanda which is a Roman fort so this, I'm not saying this came from Vindolanda, but it's quite possible it's Roman technology. Here it was just used to feed down into a, a clay po a pond which actually we're standing on virtually. It's been chucked out of the way. Good solid piece of stone. Weighs half a tonne. Underneath us is a metre wide, that high, metre deep, stone box, stone slabs, dry stone walls, stone slabs. It goes back probably to the 13th century. It goes all the way down here. You can actually see it on Google Earth, the satellite images. It's such a big scar in the landscape because it's sunk down. Free flowing water, it's collapsed in places here, but it's still flowing and you can still hear it a little bit. Uh, uh, when we stuck a camera in, there's this fantastic image of what's going on down there. Medieval, part of Fountains Abbey land making a water course not for drinking but for industrial for mill use it's the electricity grid of its day and it's still even though it's collapsing running freely which is more than my drains are doing at home 800 years on this <laughs> it's very impressive workmanship we're in a rough field but here we've got a fantastic patch of green grass it's not an accident this whole area has been the powerhouse for the industry going on here this is where they made the charcoal and the rabbits love it because it's soft so they can dig into it and bless their hearts they've dug it and we can see the charcoal that's spilling out of it and this is medieval charcoal so this is the same age as furnaces which are incredibly scattered on this field same age as the culvert that goes through to power the furnaces and the bellows but this area a patch of bright green grass stands out from the rough and here we have the charcoal clamp We've arrived at where they've been digging today, and if I can borrow somebody's trowel, which is dead cheeky of me when they've done all the work, uh, and we've not done it. We've got a very big rock with some man-made grooves in it, big question mark. But what we've got here, that's not normal rock. 
it's roast ore. So they've taken the ore, they've roasted it so that it becomes dry uh, and all the moisture and some of the impurities are driven out. And this whole site is just covered with the remains of it. It's just sort of the last level when you've scraped it all away. Uh, and then you would put it into the furnace and Roger's got some slag there. This has come out from this area. It looks like somebody's been dumping stuff, is it? Probably. We know we've got furnaces a few feet away. Uh, pieces of slag, which are molten rock, that's then solidified again. All around this rock that we don't know, but it was under this rock that we found some Bronze Age pottery. Little tiny, tiny, tiny pieces. Uh, just underneath, right underneath almost, uh, there's some stones holding up this big rock. Why am I sitting on it? Uh, but uh, I hope it's safe. Uh, and underneath there were the Bronze Age pottery. So we've got prehistoric and then the layers built up. And this is medieval, this work and this slag. It's a very complex site, lots of phases to it. It's been a good, good morning here so far. Uh, we will carry on doing some digging this afternoon uh, with those who have already made a start. But we've had a, a brief, very brief trip around the site. There is so much. On this field, you can hardly go five, ten metres without finding more archaeology under the soil. It literally is butting up against each other. Arche archaeology from the prehistory, archaeology from the medieval time, they're just one flowing over another. Uh, and what a what better site could we have? Uh, <laughs> they're taking a break at the moment down there having their lunch. You can't beat the site of looking down the Yorkshire Dale for your lunch. When you get your nose out your trench, uh, it's pretty good. Uh, but the archaeology up here is brilliant and uh, we're very happy to share it with you. Uh, more next week. I don't know whether we're digging up here yet or we're moving back down to the smelt house site. Watch next week and find out. Thank you. <laughs>